When Perseverance drove down from its commanding perch over Ingenuity, there were consequences. Now Ingenuity is on its own like never before, on this episode of Mars Guy. Ingenuity's 16th flight ended successfully with it safely parked at the bottom of the Sita terrain, with Perseverance looking down from above. The Mascam Z camera shot this stunning panorama at about 4 in the afternoon from the highest point yet reached by Perseverance. It captured the distant rim of Jezero Crater and the tracks leading into Sita. Here's Mars Guy for scale. It also caught the small mountain with the crater on it that I presented in the previous episode. The crater is about 100 meters across and nearly 18 kilometers or about 11 miles from Perseverance. Looking back along the route driven by Perseverance, more tracks come into view. And for the first time since Sol 200, more than three months ago, Mascam Z's zoom lens got a look at Ingenuity, this time from about 300 meters away. Flight 17 took off from here a few sols later, but by that time, Perseverance had driven down from its overlook, changing the orientation between it and Ingenuity. That meant that it had a line of sight on the helicopter at takeoff, which I'll simulate here, but then lost it when it descended for landing. Turns out there's higher standing terrain between the two at the end of the 187 meter flight. To make matters worse, the radio base station antenna used by Ingenuity was obstructed by the protruding power generator because of the rover's orientation. The combination of terrain and rover obstruction meant that the radio communications link between Ingenuity and Perseverance was disrupted during landing. About 15 minutes later, Perseverance did receive several data packets that showed the flight electronics were healthy and that the battery was charging at the expected rate. This was good news that showed that Ingenuity landed upright with the solar array pointing skyward. High-speed communications are not possible, but Ingenuity has managed to dribble back several navcam images from its descent. This first one gives a nice view of the large sand ripple that you can see in the color orbital image. Ingenuity's shadow, with its 1.2 meter or 4 foot long rotors frozen in these shots, provides a sense of scale. And this last one, once again, shows the mysterious lighter shadow of the rotor blades compared to other parts, which I presented in episode 35. On Sol 292, December 15 on Earth, Ingenuity completed Flight 18, showing that it can do its mission just fine, even with a low data rate. 